Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Um, I keep telling you guys in my other videos that we are doing stuff in the house and I'm trying to update some stuff upstairs. And I'm in one of the rooms right now. This is like their closet. And I think it was one of my videos, it was either like a live video or something where I was stating that um, we were doing some stuff. Um, the walk-in closet that I'm in right now was Victoria's when she lived here. So Victoria is my oldest daughter. And this was kind of like where she would put her clothes and then we would put puzzles and different things. Well, the kids, we wanted to change it and we wanted to make this into a Lego room. So we got it painted, we got the floor down, and now we got to do the trim. And then I also, um, we had a little bit of a mix up. I wasn't thinking very straight when I wanted to do this. So I'll show you that in a minute, but I just wanted to start out by part of this video is gonna show you guys what the bedroom looked like and like um, before we painted it. And then um, there's gonna be stuff in here where I'm actually painting the bedroom. There are things that I totally missed and I forgot to videotape, which I'm kind of like, eh. but I will show you like a little bit of some of it. Um, and then there's things like, I'm gonna have to do like a two part video to this because it might be kind of long because there's things that we have to update yet. So I'm just gonna show you the basic of what I did, like this right now. So like a little bit of an introduction of what this video is about. And then um, when I do the part two, that is hopefully when I have everything finished. Um, there's still things that we have to go find and buy, but, um, so I'll just give you a sneak peek because this isn't finished. So you'll see later when it is finished. Um, but for right now, so everything makes sense because the video is kind of scattered a little bit. And I, I guess I didn't piece it together as best as I wanted it to be put together, but that's okay. You, I, at the end, you guys will realize what, you know, like what's going on or whatever. So, okay. So one of the things that I messed up on and in the, this video, you'll also see that I had some issues with painting the wall in this closet because the paint that we got didn't cover the stuff that was on the wall. So I had to put a couple couple layers of primer on the wall before we could even like paint it red. But I started painting it red and it wasn't covering. So I had to go back on and do everything like over, which I only get so much time in a day and I had to do it over. So I was like, ah. Okay, but it's painted, it's done. So the biggest part is done. We have some minor stuff in another room that I have to finish. And now it's just piecing everything together, finding things. Lauren's gotta put a table in here. We gotta get some chairs and we got the containers and everything to put the Legos in. And then I'm having my sister come over and or helping me put some names on the wall for who is gonna have a station in here for their Legos. Okay, so one of the things that I messed up on and this wall right here was going to be where we were going to put the table all the way this way. But I didn't realize that when you come over here, this is a very short wall. We would never be able to put a table like right here. So when they walked into the closet, they, it, they would hit right here. So with this wall right here, it is wide enough for us to put a table all the way this way and then this way instead of the other way, which I'm kind of a little disappointed because I'm not painting anything over. This is just, that's it, I'm done. So with this wall, we'll just make some really nice um, like words for them, like their names on the wall and kind of brighten it up that way. We have other things that we're gonna be putting up on the wall for them to put their Legos on. And then we're gonna probably put some on our counter, like lighting and stuff, um, LED or whatever lighting underneath so that kids can see um, better with where they are at their station. And then on this side, we are going to be putting their closet or their dressers and I'd rather have their dressers in here than in, in their bedroom, then it makes their bedroom really small. And then I have to get a big shelving system to put all their like board games and puzzles over there. So them are the things that I have to continue to look for. Um, this is the flooring that we went with. 
and we actually had to kind of piece it together over there because we didn't have a long enough um, piece. So this is kind of what it looked like when we got it from um, Menards. But this is what the flooring is. We still have to do the trim on the side. So that it needs to be done yet. I got to paint that and um, figure out where I'm going to hang their clothes because they're, some of their dress shirts were in here and I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. So that's just a little update on this video. But when I do the second part of the video, I'll like come back on and I will show you um, what we ended up doing. But for right now, I'm going to give you guys like later on in the other part of um, the video or whatever, you guys will see other things um, that we did with the room. I'm going to give you guys a little overview of what their closet looked like. So when we first did this closet, um, Victoria liked monkeys and we decorated it that way. And I showed you in one of our other videos that this was just like a crazy mess up here. So what I'm gonna do is take all these shelves down. This is Miles' dresser, so we're gonna have to move that somewhere. We moved all the toys out into another space that we have um, up here. And then uh, this is all gonna be red can't remember what color that's going to be. This is going to be probably white and white just because this is a really small like walk-in closet. Let me see if I can show you guys. So sorry the fan is right behind me if you guys are picking that up but um this is what it looks like when you walk in. So we are going to put, going to put a table all the way across and all the way on the back of that wall and they'll have like a big lego area so this is going to be like their lego closet so right now i am picking up all these that were laying on the ground we had like a train table in here full of legos i'll, I'll try to find the other picture that i had and put it on the screen of what the closet looked like um so i think i'm gonna have to fill in maybe some of these spots on the wall and get that all taken care of too before we start painting but i want to try to start painting today if i can and this is all gonna be red so i'm excited for um this to get done because then the kids can just come up here and uh play with legos and stuff so i'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with um miles's dresser yet so I'm still undecided of where we're going to put it. Even if we keep it in there, it's not going to be a big deal. For all these shelves, we had all our games and puzzles and stuff on. So I kind of want to probably either do that again or do something a little bit different. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. And then I got to figure out what we're going to do with the floor. I just went and picked up like a little rug thing for in here, but I'm going to have to get something different. So figure that out when we get that far. The walls that I'm painting, I'm painting over the red, but I needed to prime over it because like I said, it just didn't look right. So I have to do it all over, which is kind of sad, but I am not a professional. So don't laugh at how this is turning out. I'm very OCD, which you would think that I would do things in order, but I'm not. So I'll get to that side eventually, but I'm gonna work right here first and then work my way all over this whole room so i gotta get going so i'll have you guys watch while i paint So I went back over the whole room with primer a couple times and now it is finally um, finally covered. So we went back to the store and um, they gave us two things of primer because of the colors that we got weren't working um, with what we wanted and what they said that it would do. 
So now I have it fully covered and now I can move on to actually painting. So I have about four coats, four or five coats of primer on this wall because this was like all painted. You'll see, you guys would have saw in the beginning of the video how it was like all like monkeys and stuff um, on the wall. So I finally got that all covered and now I get to um, paint this. And then the ceiling also had like clouds on it. This side had like dark trees and stuff and I finally got that covered. So I'm gonna see once this dries, um, if it's gonna like sneak through, if you can see the color. So when I was painting over this area, this was like, I did it red. This also I think is in the beginning of the video. This was all red and it did not cover when I was painting it. So I had to prime everything all over again. And now I'm hoping with the paint that I have now that it's going to work. So I have red, uh, what other color are we doing? White? Not in this room, but there's these colors. I think these are all going in the other room. And then I have red, but I also have white that I'm painting in here. What color is this? Uh, I don't even, oh, I have a gray color too that we're gonna be painting. So I have all this up here. Um, I have a lighter gray right there. There's a lighter gray. I just don't have white up here. So I think that's the only thing, I don't know what that is. Well, that's primer too. So I have to get white because this wall, this wall over here is gonna be white. This is gonna be white. And then this, this, and the side walls are gonna be red. Um, but now I should be able to uh, cover it better. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that we learned. I have a cup with caulk in it. And what you do is you put it on the seam where you have the tape. So when I paint this wall right here and I pull up the tape, it's gonna have like a nice fine line there. It won't seep underneath the blue tape when I paint. So I will come back and show you how that looks. So this is what the wall looks like right now and the kids want me to paint over it and do something different. So we're just going to be doing, I think it's like dark gray, white, and orange. Probably not on this wall. Um, and then on this wall we have this and then I will, sh I have everything moved right now for me to begin to paint. So let me go, Evelyn's helping boys are going to be helping at the window and then I have this on this side that we need to prime a couple times because with the black on there um, I have to be able to cover it so we did this when I think Gage and Eli were in the room and they're in the other room right now so we got to do all of this over so our goal we did the red we have to do the white on that wall white up there and then we're done in here and then I just have to um, put the table in and get the Lego oh, and the floor. We gotta put a floor in. Um, right now the kids are gonna help me prime because we need to do a couple coats of primer on this wall otherwise we won't be able to cover it. So that's what we're gonna do right now.
McLaughlin's and Miles and Dec Hudson's and Declan's room. I started, shh, just wait. I started taping off the design that we're gonna be doing. So I still have to keep going to um, finish what we're kind of achieving. So I gotta put like the base color on first, then each stripe is gonna be a different color too. So I'll come back when I have everything like taped off and then uh, show you what it looks like then. Okay, I have it all taped off the way that we want it. So the spots that are open is gonna be dark gray and then the other ones are gonna be orange and white depending on where I want to place the color. On the design that we saw on Pinterest, it had less markings on the wall, but I don't know if their wall was just a little smaller than this one. So um, we're just gonna go, uh-oh. Okay, so we're just gonna go with um, this design because it's a longer wall. So I think it'll turn out pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, when I get done, I will uh, show you the first um, layer of gray paint or maybe I'll just paint and you guys can see me painting it too. So we'll see what I do, I'm not sure. So I'm starting the wall. One of the tricks with that we've learned with painting straight lines, and I don't know if I mentioned it in another part of the video, is that when you have like this, you want to put like a little bit of caulk right on the edge so that the paint can't seep underneath. And then when you pull the tape, it leaves like a crisp line. But on here, I'm just taking this and I'm kind of just going the opposite direction because if I go in it, then I'll get paint underneath here because I don't really feel like caulking the whole wall so I'm just gonna like gently do this and then the part that's like bigger I have a little roller that I'm gonna use to uh, do the rest so I will have you follow along while I do while I do this <laughs> So the kids are starting to take off the lines. We have the gray done, and now we have to paint stripes on the wall. So I'll have to come back and tape off um, the rest to do the other colors. So this is the thing that I did not show you in the other video. I only showed you us, like, here, hold on one second there. I only showed you us taking the tape off when we were doing the gray. I don't, I didn't show you guys any of the orange or anything like that. So the strips go all like all the way down to the floor and behind the door. And then on this side, it's light gray. And then over here we have the orange to match the other thing. And this all has like their whole bedroom has, to, we didn't organize anything yet. So them are the things you guys are gonna see later, but this we painted dark and then the flooring is just gonna stay the way we have it and then that's a light gray over there. I still wanted to keep it light because um, the room is kind of small and then the ceiling is just gonna stay uh, that color. Okay, so Gage's wall has the first coat on for his side of the wall that we're painting and then we're gonna do this wall, the dark, and that wall is gonna be light gray and then We'll show you what we're gonna do with these walls um, because they wanna do a kind of pattern thing on these walls. So I will show you that when we are finished with um, getting some of the other stuff done. Gage's wall is done. And then the bed is gonna be like a light gray inside. The dark gray like that is gonna be around the whole base of it. I'm not sure what we're gonna do up there yet. 
spreads it like gray and then I'm working on Eli's side so you guys can watch and um, see how far I can get today before um, we have some other stuff that has to get done today too so we're just gonna see how much I can get done but how about you guys to sit and follow along and uh, finish up this wall and then I'll come back. Gage and Eli's room, I didn't share with you guys a lot of this stuff in here also. I only showed you us painting some of it. I didn't show you us painting the green wall, but this is what Gage's bed looks like. So underneath we still have to do like a platform thing. Things are like all over the place because I have to get organizers and shelving and we have to pull everything out of there and do shelving. So we have no dressers in here right now. So they're living out of baskets and this all has to be redone. Um, and then that, I don't know if we showed you, I don't know if I showed you guys what it looked like before, but I'll try to find maybe something. Um, that's like a light gray, that's that dark gray. Um, and then that's Gage's side, and then this is Eli's, and then it goes to the light gray, and then around the window, we gotta get a new curtain. Um, but what we're gonna do here, this is where you'll see on the next video when we have everything organized, we are putting a bunch of like triangles on this side with um, this color is gonna be there and then the triangles when we pull them off are gonna be that gray. And then we're gonna do the opposite on this side. So there's gonna be a bunch of triangles and stuff on this side that are gonna be gray and it, it's gonna look kind of like an explosion of triangles. I don't know, we found it on Pinterest. So if I can find the clip again, which I went back on Pinterest and I couldn't find it, but if I find it again, I'll put like a little picture up here. If not, if you don't see a picture, I didn't find it. Um, and then we're gonna do the same kind of over here. So the, the green wall is gonna have the gray and then the gray wall is gonna have part of the green triangle. So we're gonna do that. Eli wants something by his bed um like a little table or something to put stuff i'm not sure what we're gonna do with gauge yet um but yeah we're gonna be doing some other stuff in here and then i got these at menards which i have to try to find some more and we probably have to get some lighting in here too but these are gonna go up and down the wall and this is where they're gonna put their clothing Put it on this side and then this whole wall is gonna be filled with shelving and stuff um, for them to put their stuff on so they don't want a lot of clutter in their room so it's gonna be a little bit different in their room than um, the little kids room okay so hopefully that makes sense with everything that I shared with you today because when I look back at the video and I tried to edit everything it kind of was just a little scattered and it didn't make sense but at least you guys will see like part one of what we did to get started and then hopefully with part two we'll see how far away I can get that done where I find you know shelving and storage which we have storage for the lego room but Gage and Eli's closet I gotta find all that stuff yet so then in that video you'll see everything finished and completed so Hopefully you guys like um, like stuff like this. I know there's other things that I have planned for other rooms in the house. Um, Evelyn's room still is not finished. So there's other things in the house. I know I didn't share a lot what we did in the kitchen yet. Um, and it's nothing big. It's just we had to kind of move things around. But I'll share that with you guys at another time when I figure all that out. And then Evelyn's room was never painted 
on the other side because the twins were down there and that was like the Batman side and then her side is like the girly side. So that still has to get updated, which I have no clue when that's going to ever happen. Um, and then, but her room needs to be organized again. If you guys haven't seen me declutter her room from last year, I'll leave a link up above and you can check that out. But I need to go back in there again because um, that's like our main toy room. And when pe kids come over, that's where they play. And things just are just not in order right now. So I gotta go back in there, do that again. Um, and that's okay because we need to get rid of some of the stuff that's in there. We just have too much again. So um so i have to do that but if you guys have any other ideas that you guys want me to share with you or anything if you guys have any other questions or stuff that we are doing in our house or homeschooling or anything like that just leave them in the comments down below otherwise don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one